Nintendo Switch is a great console name that implies a lot of things. I mean, what the hell does Wii U mean anyway? But outside of one reveal trailer and a few confirmed details, we hardly know anything about it. With a full presentation happening this Thursday, we don't have to wait much longer to have our questions answered. So what can we expect? Here are four things to keep in mind. Number one, the controller. The Switch is a hybrid console, which means you can take it outside or plug it into the dock to play on your big TV at home. The gamepad itself has removable controllers, called Joy-Cons, on either side. But what about that screen in the middle? Reports from bloggers Emily Rogers and Laura Kate Dale claim it's a touchscreen. Given Nintendo's history with the Wii U, 3DS, and original DS, touchscreen functionality only makes sense. As for the Joy-Cons themselves, customization is another question. Imager user The Grumpy Cat created some alternate color schemes for the system, which do fall in line with Nintendo's various shades of Game Boys and DSs. Artist Ryan Salamanda took this idea even further, sketching out a few possibilities for alternate Joy-Con shapes and button layouts. It's a brilliant idea that just can't be unseen. But also, it's super unconfirmed, so don't get too attached. Number two, the specs. So what about the guts of the console? VentureBeat reports that the Switch uses NVIDIA's Maxwell graphics processor, rather than the manufacturer's newer Pascal technology. This means the console has just over a teraflop of performance power, making it less powerful than the baseline PS4 or Xbox One. Digital Foundry went more in-depth, digging into the Switch's CPU and GPU speeds. According to the site, CPU speeds are constant whether the console is docked or removed. This way the game runs the same in your living room as it does on the go. The GPU, however, is downclocked to just 40% of its total power when not plugged in. Earlier Digital Foundry reports claim the controller sports a 720p screen, so the graphics will stay pretty as they eat up less GPU power. Number 3. The Price So how much are you going to be paying for this thing? UK retailer GameSeek listed the system at around £200, or about $250. The same price our friend Laura Kate Dale stated would be listed by Game, another UK store. Looser rumors from website Moby Pickers said that bundles will start at $260, with a $300 Mario bundle and a $340 Zelda and Pro Controller bundle also available. Those prices have not been confirmed, and neither has a new Mario game for that matter, but given the Wii U's $300 and $350 launch units, they don't seem too outlandish. Number 4. The Games Perhaps the biggest question of all is what games the Nintendo Switch will offer. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild has been slated for a while. More recently, Playtonic's Yooka Laylee has been confirmed for the system, along with Dragon Quest X, Dragon Quest XI, LEGO City Undercover, and Rhyme. Indie darling Stardew Valley also has a Switch version in the works, and two more indie games, Seasons of Heaven and The Sacred Hero, have also been announced. The Switch's debut trailer also teased Skyrim, NBA 2K17, different versions of Mario Kart 8 and Splatoon, and what appears to be a new Mario game but none of these have been officially announced. A third version of Pokemon Sun and Moon, titled Pokemon Stars, has also been reported. And on top of all of that, a report from Eurogamer claims the Virtual Console will be updated to feature GameCube titles. If you're looking for a reason to visit Super Mario Sunshine, you just might get it. The Nintendo Switch presentation kicks off Thursday, January 12th at 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern. Nintendo will be talking specs, price, and launch lineup, so these questions should have solid answers. We'll hopefully get that March release window narrowed down too. Keep an eye on GameSpot for all the new info, and look for some hot new Switch gameplay very soon.